If you're a playmaker, you'll love Bangalore. She's fast, agile, and can get in and out of firefights in seconds. Here are some tips and tricks you can use to master her. First, I'll briefly explain her abilities. If you already know about these, just click the timestamp in the description to skip straight to the tips. With Bangalore's passive, you can get a run speed when taking shots during sprinting, useful for running in or out of combat. Bangalore's primary ability creates a smoke cloud to block vision. It has an incredible level of utility, as you'll see in this video. Bangalore's ultimate lays down a slow moving artillery strike from above, which deals damage to anybody in its path. Bangalore is a legend that's very, very good in close quarter situations. Thanks to her passive, she's incredible at dodging and diving in between buildings. Pair her with an SMG or shotgun and she will excel. Give her a sniper and put her at a distance, however, and you really aren't able to put her to her full potential. All right, with that out of the way, let's look at some more in-depth tips and tricks for Bangalore. First, tips for Bangalore's passive. You don't actually need to get shot at to get a speed boost. In fact, bullets only need to land near you. One thing that's crucial though, is that you need to be sprinting before you get shot at to get the speed boost. If you see the shot status effect, your first instinct may be to run behind cover, but check your health. The bullets may have only been near misses. In this situation, you should actually try to run up to the enemy instead of away from them. You can then use a shotgun or an SMG to quickly kill them. I'll show you how you can pair this tactic with the smoke launcher in a second. For even more speed, make sure to holster your weapon whilst you're sprinting. Once you get close enough, you can equip your shotgun or SMG once again. Bangalore's tactical ability, the smoke launcher. There are two different playstyles you can use with a smoke launcher. It has defensive purposes and offensive purposes. Let's start with the defensive. First, you can use your smoke grenade to hide inside whilst you med yourself, heal a teammate, or loot items safely. Just listen out for any footsteps. As soon as you hear footsteps, run out of the smoke and look for any players. Usually, if you leave the smoke far enough and then take a wide angle around it, you'll be able to see the players that are trying to find you. Obviously, this is a smoke grenade, so it works very much the same as smoke grenades in any other game. You can use them to block gaps in walls or doors so that you can run past them without being spotted. You can use smoke grenades to throw into a building with players in so that they're blinded and can't be seen, and then you can get someone else to throw their abilities that deal damage or just throw grenades in there. Bloodhound's ult and his primary ability can see through the smoke grenades. So if you know you're up against a bloodhound, don't sit inside the smoke. Actually, it's best not to be in the smoke at all, unless you need time to heal, revive, or loot. You can also use the smoke grenade as an escape tool. If you are getting shot at, you can fire it in between you and the enemy to block their vision, which gives you time to find an escape. Likewise, you can shoot the smoke in between an enemy and your teammates to provide them with an escape path. Okay, now let's talk about the offensive capabilities of the smoke launcher. One of my favorite things to do is as soon as you take bullets and you get your speed buff, fire the smoke grenade in front of you. Then dart right or left, go around the smoke grenade and flank from the side. The enemies will be confused. They'll think that you're using the smoke grenade to escape when actually you're using it to flank them. If you're in the middle of combat in a very tight area, you can throw a smoke grenade, then quickly turn the corner, and then come back around behind the enemies. It's so very easy to use Bangalore's smoke grenade and her passive together to get out of any situation and turn it around in your favor. This is where she is the most useful. You need to be getting into the middle of the fight and making plays because she has such easy escapes to use that it's very, very easy to get out if things go badly. Bangalore's ult is one of the best AoE damage abilities in the game. When you use it, you can throw a grenade. As you can see, you can throw it quite a long distance. When it's thrown, there will be a short period of time before it activates. There are essentially two rounds of bullets that are thrown. The first round is just markers that show you where the bullets will land. There will then be a short pause and the bullets will then be fired. Because it takes quite a while for it to fire, you really need to plan ahead when to use it. When there's a team really heavily involved in a firefight, it's usually a good time. Many people still haven't figured out that Bangalore's ult has two rounds of fire, and the first round is simply the markers for where the bullets will land. So you may notice that many enemy players 
will see your markers, then run away from the markers, and then come back into the zone where they're going to get fired upon. They obviously think that the first round, which are the markers, are the projectiles. This is less of a tip and more of an observation, but you may be surprised at how many enemies you can kill because they're stupid and run back into the firing zone. As you can see here, some buildings have enough big holes inside that you can actually fire Bangalore's ult through the building. This is really good for pushing enemies out of a building or hopefully even killing them. All right, that's my tips and tricks video for Bangalore. I hope you've enjoyed watching this and I hope you've learned something new. I've got more guides and tips and tricks videos like this on my channel, so if you wanna see more, please subscribe. Cheerio.